Hello everyone, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about daily stock market update and we will figure out what's going on with the stock market is it bullish reversal signal or it's a bull trend or what's going on with it let's start it, let's move to to trading view today it was kind of, it started negative it was started negative for all indexes and during the days it moved up and it closed green closed green green for all american american indexes red for china and uh, yeah nasdaq was the most most powerful today almost one percent up a quarter percent for smp and uh, dow jones almost flat uh, it was yeah it was some bullish news and uh, bullish news it's a uh, positive news uh, from some data but it's not positive it, it will be negative for fed it, uh, because fed the good news today it's a bad news for fed because fed will raise rate okay let's move and it's bad for the market right bullish day that's nice let's move to to our charts if you want to learn more about v, uh vbull setup just go to the description there is the link about vbull setup training and other links about all my uh all my about simple training style okay let let me briefly mention this is this line shows moving averages values and colors i am using also three indicators it's a simple no compl complexity i'm trying to use less lines I don't kind of don't use trend lines just to make a charts clean um, so easy to, easy to read the charts it's just only I'm using only divergences lines that's all okay moving averages white line MA 200 uh, purple line is MA 100 blue line MA 50 yellow line MA 20 red line MA 10 and green line MA 5 MACD indicator red line signal line and the green line it's a MACD line same you can read here rsi same setup red line signal line and green line rsi line also oscillator green it's a bullish red it's a bearish that's all simple but it's not easy like i mentioned every time every day because of your emotions and discipline that's the most important part and the 90 percent traders cannot control emotions and and this and follow the discipline that's the issue if you can control it you will be successful okay let's go let's start from dollar dollar positive market was positive and dollar was positive it's kind of divergence right because when dollar positive market indexes kind of uh, should be negative but today is it's uh, they move in the same direction uh, let's start daily for the USA dollar. Still bullish. Uh, yeah, still bullish. Green day, bullish day. MACD bullish. RSI bullish. Or also later bullish on daily time frame. Still bullish with bullish divergences. Let's move to four hours. Four hours. MA5 did bullish crossover over 10, 15, 20. It's a bullish trend. All, yeah, almost all, except 100. All moving averages above MA200 except 100 it's a bullish trend bullish trend macd bullish crossover rsi bullish crossover awesome oscillator bullish on uh, all indicators for four hours time frame let's move to one hour one hour and uh, one hour change direction to bearish for bullish to bearish and if i did bearish crossover macd change direction to bearish crossover awesome oscillator and and RSI change direction to bearish on one hour time frame. Let's move to, I'm sorry, let me change to YouTube and let's move to Q's. Q's, uh, bullish dollar, it, yeah, like I said, it, it, it should be negative for indexes. Let's start Q's daily. Q's daily, green bar, four bars in a row, green. But MACD, let's see the price action is kind of uh, on the same level, right? Let me show you. We are on the same level with the price. But MACD has bearish divergences, right? And MACD kind of 
Magdi line flat. It's building. It's it's building bearish divergence. It continue to build bearish divergences on daily time frame. It's because of the M820. M820. When M820 does bullish crossover, it is powerful. It it's powerful bullish, uh, bullish trend. That's why it's a fight between bearish and bullish for that direction. They are still fighting, but MACD shows us it's a bearish divergence. It's MACD line and MACD histogram also shows us bearish divergences. It means Q wants to go bearish. All indicators are the same, same story. Bearish divergences, same story on awesome oscillator. Bearish divergences on all indicators. The all indicators tell, tell us, they tell us that they want to market Qs want want Qs wants to go bearish. They wants to go bearish. Okay, uh, that's what we have on Qs on daily time frame. Still flat there, yeah, still bullish on the bars. They're still bullish. MA5 still in bearish crossover. MA5 didn't didn't move up. Still under the MA10. It's still bearish crossover. But it's still above May 20, that's why it's powerful. We need bar we need bars to close and the May 5 close below May 20. That will be full confirmation about the change direction to bearish. That's why I would consider this another it's a bull trap. This is bull trap because we revisit the same top third time, right? Like it was here, it was the second one. And now we're using it's not yeah, multiple days later. We revisit again, like do bull trap, but uh, it will go down because of the di bearish divergences. Let's move to four hours. Four hours, similar story. Price action is a, uh, it's an uptrend. MA5 did bullish crossover over 10 and 20. It's a bullish signal, bullish signal on four hours, but MACD didn't make new high. MACD still has that bearish, yeah, bearish divergences on the MACD histogram, right? Bearish divergences on the MACD, on the MACD bearish divergences, and RSI bearish divergences, awesome oscillator bearish divergences, on all indicators. Even the signal partially bullish, like RSI has bullish crossover, awesome oscillator change direction from red to green bullish. MACD is still bearish. MA5, uh, moving average is bullish crossover. On 4 hours, this kind of signal is bullish, but still building bearish divergences. It's building bearish divergences. That's what, that's what uh, should tell us that market wants to go bearish. It takes time because bearish divergences doesn't tell you exactly the time when it market will change direction, but it tells you 100%, 99%. I don't like to say anything 100% in the stock market because market, stock market can do anything predictable, anything new and something new, something unexpected, something un unpredictable. Okay, and bearish divergence is on the volume also, like price action is uptrend, but volume is downtrend. Volume is downtrend. Bearish divergence is everywhere. And a lot of, it, I don't show here, a lot of different indicators that this shows bearish divergences and it shows that market wants to change direction to bearish. I don't know the trigger. Trigger will happen. Media and market will find the trigger white to change direction. Like uh, sellers bearish, they will change, the, they will find the trigger white to change direction to bearish. Okay, let's move to one hour. One hour time frame. Uh, price, like I said, similar. Price action is uptrend, but uh, divergences on the MACD, uh, on MACD histogram, same. On, on the MACD, MACD lines, divergences. Divergences on all time frames. Same on the, on the, uh, on the RSI. And same on the awesome oscillator. Bearish divergences, all time frames on all indicators. That's 
like I said, for me, confirmation 99% the market wants to go bearish, but it's still fight between bullish and bearish. Okay, let's move to VXN. VXN negative, yeah, Qs were positive, and v, uh, volatility index negative. That's that's a proper direction, but on daily time frame, it changed into bearish diversion. It, it, yeah, it does bearish crossover. Mac did it bearish crossover. MA5 wants to do bearish crossover. RSI did bearish crossover. Osmos oscillator is still bullish. Uh, still bullish. Okay, yeah, it, it, it's a bearish direction and it's a kind of bullish for, for, uh, for uh, Qs, right? That's what we mentioned. Bullish for Qs, bearish for, uh, for VXM. So let's move to SPY. SPY daily. Similar story. SPY daily, similar story. It's about the trend line. This green line is a trend line. Same like Qs. Let me show you Qs. Same trend line. Green. 200, MA200, we are about the all powerful lines, about MA200, about, about trend line, it's a bullish, it's a still bullish, but like I said, it's a bearish divergence and bearish fight between bull and, and bear. Same on the SPY, it's about MA200, it's about MA uh, trend line, and it definitely wants to at least visit Trend line and it visit MA200. Same on the on this on the on the Qs. It it should have correction at least to visit MA200 and trend line and bounce from it in the best case scenario. That's what they we are expecting to visit MA200 level like 290 or MA or 280 to visit this trend line. So you need to get confirmation and support from the trend line and from to make to 200 that's how the market works let's move to daily again for spy bullish still say exactly the same even weaker because magdi in the red bars it has red bars it's already bearish crossover but it's flat it's flat it doesn't give us a strong bearish signal because of the price action like four days in a row the bars still green they move up MA5 still below MA10. It's a kind it's a no bullish crossover confirmation, no bullish crossover confirmation on MACD, only bullish crossover confirmation on, on RSI. All other indexes they still bearish with uh, uh yeah with bearish divergences also. Volume is decreasing. Volume is decreasing. Volume is decreasing, right? From the from the stop. Still kind of yeah, still kind of uh, partially bullish, but more negative, more negative. Even green days, but indicator still tells us that it wants to go bearish because of the bearish divergences and bearish bearish signal on, on, on spy on daily time frame let's move to four hours four hours it's uh, ma5 did bullish crossover over 10 and 20 it's a bullish the last bar moved above all moving averages it's a bullish uh, still above all all moving averages right it's a bullish macd still bearish rsi already did bullish crossover osmos awesome later bullish uh, it's more bullish, except MACD is still bearish. It's yeah, MACD is still bearish has bearish divergences, and like I said, the price action for last several days is kind of uptrend, right? Here, uptrend from this from this point, but uh, volume is decreasing, right? Volume is decreasing. Okay, let's move to one hour for SPY. One hour for SPY. One hour for SPY. 
you will kind of flat right for several hours it's running my um, 5 running around in may 10 back and forth back and forth still above all last bar still above all moving averages it is bullish and uh, MACD also bullish crossover bullish RSI kind of bullish and also later the all indexes they all oh, sorry, all all indicators they bullish on one hour time frame but they all have bearish divergences all have bearish divergences from volume from MACD histogram bearish divergence RSI bearish divergence and also oscillator has as bearish divergence it, it means the same the spy wants to go bearish even if it, it shows the bullish price action bullish price action and some bullish signals also let's move to VIX VIX daily negative day uh, spy was positive VIX was negative as expected on daily time frame on our side it bearish crossover it's bearish but still has bullish divergences it didn't destroy bullish divergences let's see what it will help what it, it will bring us later still still mixed mode because some indicators are SI bearish MACD is still bullish also most later bearish uh, MA5 still didn't confirm bearish crossover yet okay let's move to dow jones dow jones daily dia dow jones daily for several days even like for a couple months for three months already three two three months it's running around the top top trend line this top trend line uh, comes from the from the top of the dow jones from the top of the john dow jones this green line also from the top of the Dow Jones it's kind of between two trend lines and this trend line it touched each time it touched already several times several times and and cannot go higher cannot go higher uh, last bar still above all moving averages it's it's a positive bearish divergences on volume bearish divergences on MACD on MACD histogram, bearish divergences on RSI, on awesome oscillator. It's still positive bull trend. We can say consider bullish trend because they all moving averages above May 200. It is bullish. And the last bar above all moving averages. It's a bullish. It's a bullish because it's above the May 200 and above May, May, yeah, between main trend lines. But it has bearish divergences. It wants to go bearish. Like I mentioned before, divergences doesn't tell us the exact time when it will happen. Bearish reversal, but it tells us that market will do bearish reversal. The only one that you have to be patient, you have to wait for it. You have to wait for that reversal. It can happen anytime. Any triggers can do it. Okay, a four hours time frame. MACD bullish crossover, MA5 bullish crossover, bullish signal on RSI on all indicators except also most later, and with bearish divergences on all indicators. Bullish signal with bearish divergences on all indicators. Nothing really changed for, for even like for two months, right? From beginning of, yeah, for last, let's say for last, for last two weeks, it just stays at the same Exactly in the same place. Okay, let's move to one hour. Let's see one hour. One hour. Uh, one hour here yeah, it has the same same setup kind of bearish divergences on all indicators. Let me let me minimize it. Bearish divergences on all indicators. Uh, on one hour it wants to go bullish MA5 wants to go bullish RSI wants to go bullish also oscillator yeah also green on one hour it wants to go bullish 
let's move to dxy dxy daily let's see what's going on with dxy index it's a negative also minus four percent bearish bearish trend it's a bullish for dow bearish on all indicators it's a bullish for dow no fear on the market at all it's always yeah when no fear on the market when it's extreme greed market always wants to change direction because it's completely opposite what what will happen extreme greed it's it's not a good for the market because it will change direction to bearish okay let's move to yeah volatility index for dow jones bearish it's a bullish for dow let's move to iwm russell 2000 russell 2000 daily green bar MACD is still bearish, RSI bullish, awesome letter bearish. Moving averages MA5 still bearish. No, it didn't, it didn't make bullish crossover yet. No bullish cross confirmation yet. Uh, for last five days it touched MA20. It kind of MA20 is still resistant and support uh, in support. Looks like it's still support. This in this case it's support. And it looks like it bounced from MA20 and touch the mate 10 we'll see if it can it will be rejected from May 10 or it will stay it will move up MACD is still bearish like i said rsi bullish mixed mode am i moving averages bearish awesome letter bearish rsi and rsi bullish rsi bullish um that's all let's move to four hours Four hours for IWM for Russell 2000. Four hours MA5 did bullish crossover. Last bar close above all moving averages. It's a, it's a, it's a positive trend. MACD still bearish. RSI ready for bullish crossover. Osmo Slater already changed to bullish also. It's a, uh, four hours it's more positive, more bullish. One hour. One hour last bar above all moving averages. It's a bullish trend. Bullish trend on one hour. MACD bullish, RSI bullish, also was later. On one hour time frame, IWM Russell 2000 bullish trend. Let's move to Apple. Apple daily. Apple daily green bar. Four days in a row it, it was green. It was green. It looks like it, it yeah, it. MA10 is kind of support. MA20 did, did bullish crossover. It is powerful bullish signal on MA20 that Apple wants to go bullish. It's yeah, Apple it's a bullish for for Qs and spy. We'll see how it can handle. MACD. MACD kind of wants to do bearish crossover wants to change direction and do bearish reversal like price action for several days it's a, a flat price action flat and uh, MACD histogram has bearish divergences RSI has bearish divergences and 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 awesome oscillator has bearish divergences also it wants to go bearish it wants to go bearish it wants to have some bearish reversal right but no confirmation yet on macd no confirmation on the may 5 may 5 didn't make bearish crossover yet because of the powerful powerful bull run trend still still bullish with bearish reversal Let's move to four hours. Four hours for Apple. Four hours for Apple. It's a different, different story. MACD still bearish. MA5 was bearish and moved to bullish. It did bullish crossover. And MA20 also bullish crossover, bullish trend. It's a bullish signal. We need bars to MA. MA5 crossover MA20 and bars closed below MA20 that will change direction to bearish look let me show you look at it 
when bars and MA5 and MA10 did bullish crossover over 20. That's how bullish trend started, right? It started over here on the January 5th. Bullish crossover over 20 and bar all bars and moving moving averages 5 and 10 was above MA20. And for, from that point, we did move bullish and bullish. We, we are still bullish until bars and moving averages closed below MA20. That will be switch bearish bearish reversal switch that will be bearish reversal switch which how it works in the movie averages on MACD it's already gave us bearish uh, bearish divergences on MACD bearish divergences right on, on the volume it's kind of decreasing uh, bearish divergences on the MACD histogram bearish divergences on the on the RSI also and bearish divergences on awesome oscillator on four hours time frame apple wants to have correction because it wants it has bearish divergences already okay let's move to one hour one hour flat price action uh bearish divergences on the histogram Bearish divergences on the, uh, not the histogram, on the MACD line, on the R RSI, on awesome oscillator, bearish divergences on all indicators on one hour time frame, but still bullish. MA5 still above MA20, all bars above all moving averages. It is still bullish trend, has some gaps below. My MACD bullish. RSI bullish, Osmo Center bullish on one hour. Apple still bullish on all time frames. One hour, four hours, and uh, daily Apple still has strong bullish trend, but with bearish divergences on all time frames. It means Apple will change direction to bearish someday. Daily time frame for uh, for uh, for for Tesla. Tesla is still strong like Apple. They, that few, only few, few stocks they are moving SPY and Q's. They move up. Few stocks they are moving like Tesla and Apple. One of them, Google, Microsoft. Five of them, maximum ten. Okay, green bar bullish trend. It's above all moving averages except two hundred. MACD is still bullish, RSI is still bullish, and, and uh, awesome oscillator bearish for last four days. Threat. And RSI in the overbought territory, about the 70, it's overbought. It's building bearish divergences, right? Like price action is bullish, right? But RSI has some bearish divergences. And uh, same on, RSI, on the MACD. I'm sorry. On the MACD histogram, it has also bearish divergences, right? But uh, on the price action, it, it's a still, it's an uptrend for a long time. Uptrend for a long time. Okay, <laughs> bearish divergences on all indicators, bullish trend for Tesla on daily time frame. Let's move to 4 hours. Four hours. Let me. Uh, uh, four hours. The last bar above all moving averages still green. That's that's positive. That's positive. Uh, but on MACD it has bearish divergences already. Build bearish divergences on the MACD uh, line. MACD histogram bearish divergences on the RSI also bearish divergences. On the four hours, bearish divergences on all indicators. Same on the uh, awesome oscillator bearish divergences. But bullish signal RSI did bullish crossover. Awesome oscillator green bullish. Uh, MA5 did bullish crossover. Bullish bullish signal with bearish divergences. On four hours time frame. One hour. One hour same. Bullish trend, bullish signal with strong bearish divergences. Same, same, same direction, right? Like 
like I showed you, because it's on one hour, bearish divergences on MACD. Same on RSI, on also oscillator, same story. Same bearish divergences. Bullish trend, yeah. Tesla, same like Apple, very strong on all, on all time frames, on all indicators. Tesla is still bullish, but it has bearish divergences also on all time frames, on all indicators. It wants to have correction. I don't know the day and time, but it will happen. Let's move to Baba. Baba, Alibaba group. Let's start from daily. Daily Alibaba bearish, right? It was bullish trend on Alibaba. It was bullish trend and it changed direction to bearish. You see the bars and more MA5 and 10 below MA20. That's, and that's that was confirmation and it is still bearish. Even the last bar it touched MA50. MA50 is a strong support. Now it can bounce from MA50. It's possible it can bounce or it can go it can cross and can go below MA50 close some gaps and touch the MA200 and maybe bounce from MA200. So far it yeah please monitor that at MA50 because it can bounce from MA50. But MACD is still bearish, RSI is still bearish, Osmos letter is still bearish, still bearish trend, kind of MA5 uh, last bar kind of far from MA20, uh, still bearish, still bearish on daily, let's move to 4 hours. 4 hours, uh, it touched, yeah, 4 hours similar, it touched the MA, uh, this is purple line, it's MA100, it's a strong support level, it touched uh, for last 2 bars, it touched, them actually for 3, touched MA100, MA100 can be also strong support and can bounce from it. It's possible because MA5, MA, MACD is, is kind of flat. MACD is kind of flat and it even it does, it did bullish divergences on MACD uh, line. Bullish divergence, but price action is, uh, is downtrend. MACD is uptrend. MACD histogram uptrend. RSI uptrend, awesome oscillator the same uptrend. It's a bullish divergences on four hours time frame. Baba wants to have some bullish correction on one hour time frame. Similar story. The price action is downtrend. It's below all moving averages. It's still bearish trend because the bars below all moving averages and MA5 and 10 below 20, right? A lot of gaps, it left a lot of gaps. MACD uh, still, yeah, it did kind of bullish divergence. Oh, I recited bullish divergence, also was like it did bullish divergence. Uh, with bullish, bullish divergences, bullish divergences with bullish kind of signal, right? On one hour, it wants to go bullish because, because of the divergences, huge bullish divergences on all indicators. Bullish divergences on all indicators. It can have some bullish correction. It can move up, close some gaps. I don't know. It can move and touch the MA50 and bounce from it. It can move and touch the MA100 and bounce from it. Or even 200. Touch 200 and, 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 and reject it from it. That's what we have on BABA. On short time frame, on one hour, it has bullish divergences. And on 4 hours, it's building bullish divergences. It's not so strong, but it's just started to build. On daily time frame, uh, only bull bullish divergences on the MACD histogram. That's all. Everything else still bearish on daily time frame. Uh, okay, let's move to... That's all. Let's do summary. Let's do summary. Let's do summary for Q's. Because Q's and, and SPY, they are similar. Uh, let's do some. Let's, let's SPY. Oh, yeah. Q's and SPY, they're similar. Da Dow Jones is, is weakest. On daily time frame, they are still fighting between fight with, between bullish bulls and bears, right? They, uh, green days, green days, it's a bullish days, but the all indicators, 
uh, like MACD, still flat and bearish divergences, and it wants to go bearish. RSI, RSI bullish, a mixed mode on indicators, mixed mode on indicators, but it's more negative. It's more negative. Uh, please keep the, if you are bullish, keep your uh, stop tight because market can change direction anytime and very quickly. Very quickly, it can drop easily to the main to the main trend line and close below MA20. Like I said, for the very full bearish reversal confirmation, we need to close price action bars should close below MA20. That will be bearish confirmation, like here. We did bearish crossover, bearish confirmation, we did move bearish. After it, it did bullish crossover, it was changed direction to bullish. That's all. I believe that like today, like for last three days, it was bull trap because it, it moves up. MACD doesn't change direction. RSI didn't change direction. Uh, RSI moved down. Osmos letter moved, moved down. It's a bull trap. Still wants to go bearish. That's all. Thank you so much. Sorry for that long uh, uh, video. I hope it was use useful. And let's move to disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. This video for educational informational purposes only. Please review it. Thank you for watching Simple Trading Style video. I really appreciate all your time and frame, all your time and efforts. I'm sorry. Uh, please click like button to support the channel and uh, thank you so much and good luck bye now